Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you a few additional steps to make sure that you have zero input delay in Fortnite chapter 3 guys I'm going to explain everything and trust me there's always something new you definitely didn't know guys And with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel This would help me so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic And yeah guys, what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is tell you that if you're really struggling a lot, a lot, a lot with input delay, you can also additionally try to turn off as much RGB as you can from your PC. On my custom keyboard right now here, we have as a ground structure SK61, so therefore you're just gonna search up exactly the software for your keyboard guys, for your mouse, if your mouse maybe also has RGB, you know that's like a huge factor, especially on like low end PCs, you're just gonna search it up and you can straight up just remove all of the lighting effects, you know, just simply make it look plain like this. This is also like the reason why Mongrel played for such a long time without any sort of RGB effects because it does actually decrease your input delay. And as you can see, I have right now none on there. You know, you can still like turn it off with like different modes. You can like still like, um, you know, you know, you can still like turn it on with different modes. Let's just say that I'm going to switch here my RGB. You can see now that I have again an RGB mode here actually on my keyboard. But yeah, something minimalistic like this will also do the job if you really want a little bit of RGB. But as mentioned, try to turn it down as much as possible because that will reduce the input delay the easiest way. And what you can also do in addition to that is actually turn off the RGB effects of your PC components. Something like your CPU fan, your GPU, your main board, you know, all of these components or even RGB RAM. Like I personally myself use RGB RAM, but I have the RGB effect turned off. So therefore guys, yeah, that doesn't really make sense too much, I guess. But yeah, it reduces your input delay and that's at the end of the day, everything that matters for competitive gaming. So therefore guys, this is it for the first step. And then next up guys here we have my reduced delay windows package which you can get by the way from my discord guys first link in the description You can just simply join there and open it up you know here And then we have first of all here input delay reduction and registry tweaks And yeah I would say we're gonna first of all take a look here actually at the registry tweaks because it's like the most important one You can see here we have like all tons of unnecessary services which you can disable on your windows pc If you haven't done this so far guys We have here I don't know diagnostic services, disable background apps, disable the game bar GPU energy drivers just to make sure that your GPU is running at 100%. Disable maps, we have disable power throttling, transparency, disable Windows telemetry, disable Xbox services, FN high priority, limited um, user account control, spectrum meltdown protection. You can just simply Google all of them guys if you are a little bit unsure, but I can tell you 100%. This is not gonna limit you in any possible way with your Windows PC. This is just gonna make sure that the design is gonna be like tiered down to like the lowest effect. So yeah, I don't know, your Windows, um, all of these like little cosmetic changes, which are actually gonna free up a little bit of your CPU and RAM speed. And it's just gonna overall speed up your PC a ton, guys. And next up, we're going to take a look here at my input delay reduction pack. We're just gonna open it up. And we're going to first of all begin here with control latency, where we have now timer set resolution. That's like overall the best tool, guys, to reduce input delay on controller. And yeah, what you want to do in the first place is just simply open up the program and then once you launch it guys, you're gonna click here onto maximum and if it for you doesn't say 0 0.500 in the beginning, yeah? We also have a comment prompt here in there where you're just simply gonna open up your CMD and your Windows search bar, right click and run it as an administrator and copy both of these comments here actually in there, you know, just simply paste them, press enter, you can see everything has been applied successfully the second one as well then you can close this already reset your pc and then reset your timer set resolution and then once you click on the maximum it should say 0 0.500 otherwise it's not working as it should be guys and yeah this is it so far for controllers and this is it so far for controllers guys and now we're going to click here onto mouse and keyboard latency and then we can see first of all that we have a keyboard registry tweak which we're just going to simply apply here double click onto it make sure to continue here no problems you can see the keys values has been changed then we're gonna go back here onto mouse, do exactly the same thing for our mouse tweak. You can see it's been applied 100%. And yeah, for mouse and keyboard, actually guys, filter keys is better, but it sadly doesn't work for controllers. So therefore on controller, you still have to use timer set resolution. And they can see now filter keys. And yeah, what you can pretty much do here is make sure that the repeat delay on your keyboard is really the lowest possible. And I already put you here a picture guys with the best settings in this folder here itself. So we're just gonna open it up here next to it. And we can see that for the Angular under, we should put it on zero. For repeat delay, we should put it on 150. And for repeat rate to 25, and on the right side we pretty much only want to have on and available checked so the rest we're gonna uncheck here real quick and then we're gonna hit here apply and actually let this program run all the time in the background guys while playing Fortnite yeah you can just simply leave it here on your desktop go into your epic games launcher 
itself and just simply launch Fortnite, guys, and enjoy having way less input delay. Trust me, filter keys make such a huge difference, and this program is super known already for years. And yeah, guys, once we're done with that, this is it pretty much, and yeah, we finished all the tweaks here. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, hope come get inside. Diamond Gucci, Lee, come take a dive.